Okay, so I'm at the Home Depot and they do sell it by the square foot. And what you're gonna look for is any uh, discrepancies like this, cause that will catch the film. Um, so you're looking for a nice clean edge to go right along the rollers and it will just come out and make sure that it's the smooth. Okay, this uh, polished finish here, okay? And that's what you'll be looking for. Now, and I'm looking for legs. Um, for this um, tray and I think what I found here is something I'm gonna make it into an adjustable size tray so I'm gonna use this here and make it adjustable so they have they're called trap adapters and they actually have two at like one and a half by one and a quarter or one and a half but what we're looking for here is the 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 part with the screw on so we can go up and down to adjust the height but we're also I was looking for this to be as, as pretty much as short as possible at about just under an inch and a half and to be able to adjust up to two inches because all the videos I've seen have been just under about an inch and a half. So I'm going to buy this piece. I'm going to gamble it and take this um, with, with, the, with this on it. And um, I was thinking I could use that as an adjustable leg. So let's see where this goes and, uh, and how it goes. Alright, so what I'm using is uh, Gorilla Super Glue, and this is the um, the, the uh, gel type, so that I can stick it straight to the uh, ceramic tile itself. So that should hold it just fine. Alright, so here it is. Um, pretty much I'm at uh, Home Depot, and um, this is all the supplies that are required, I guess, to build the tray. This is what I'm going to buy in hopes that it works. So I got a 12-inch um, a here um tile i got these uh adapters here that i'm hoping will work as adjustable feet and then um so that's 12 inches width there and it's about a quarter inch thick so 12 inches quarter inch thick and then you can get any length really i think this is about like two feet here or something it's in i, I got a picture of it um and um also the gorilla glue as well and you want to make sure that it is the gel the gel type because the gel will hopefully adhere to this properly and it does say uh, wood and all that stuff and, and it bonds to wood and uh, ceramic so uh, let's see where it goes here, if you want this exact one here look, I'll give you a barcode and I'll give you the exact number Okay, you're back with Jason from Ink Fusion DTF, and uh, today we're going to be doing a tray build. Um, and I'm also going to just throw in, um, do the installation of the waste tank as well. So we'll we'll just uh, we'll call this one like tray build and uh, waste tank. So um, what I've got here um, for this is um, I got some Gorilla Glue uh, gel. I got a tile, uh, 12 inches by two by a quarter inch uh, thick, okay? And uh, then I've got some legs here. Now I've seen some done with wood, I've seen some done with some other things. Um, so what I've done here myself is I went to the plumbing store and I got, I got a piece that's just under an inch and a half, but I got it threaded and it almost has like feet that are adjustable. I figured that if I got these, four of these, I could make it adjustable. Um, and they cost me, I think it was $2.60 each or something. So it's about a $9 investment just for the legs, but they adjust and I figured they would just adjust to the right height for me exactly what I need so there's no playing around. Um, so uh, that's what I got there and then for my so that is for the um, the tray itself is really you only need the four legs and then the piece of tile itself and of course uh, some glue um, and I get the gel uh, of the gorilla try don't get the liquid I wouldn't recommend it I I haven't tried it maybe it works but I'm gonna go with the gel formula uh, due to the fact that it's gel and it'll probably fit on there and adhere nicely um, and then we're gonna move on. Okay, so what I did here is I flipped it upside down. I just used a um, a pillowcase so I wouldn't wreck the top at all. Um, how I bought this, I bought a really, I was really meticulous in the piece I bought. Um, so I really took my time with that. Um, so here's the legs. 
Um, so what I used was the grid line in the um, tile so that the legs can be you know pretty much perfectly straight and I made a mark on here when it was inside here um, just over a bit like outside anything outside pretty much the printer you know that's outside of this you don't want to go be putting the feet inside there or try to try to get all fancy and get the feet in there just put the feet simply anywhere beyond here so I just kind of made a mark as to where the front of it was and and then sort of just a little mark kind of where I can go in between there I just put it down a bit so I just kept them pretty much right on that front line there and then I kept them nice and close to the edge for just adjustment purposes for when I'm installing it um, so again and again they're threaded um, these these things are threaded um, in the video that I show in the store I guess at the beginning of this um, I forget what they're called but um, they work um, you know they work their legs um, I made them adjustable by doing this just got a little bit more creative and again don't forget gel not liquid if you can see how it dabs on and then you could just put it right on and adhere it that's what you want I'm also going to use this um, for this as well just to for once the once the um, latex tubing's in there I'll just kind of seal it around it on the inside or on the, yeah, on the inside or outside whatever we'll get to that when we get there but yeah so that's it that's how I have it set up and um, and now I'm going to um, open up the glue and start to apply the glue to the legs and then uh, let it dry and then we're ready to flip it over and uh, just get it ready for uh, install so that's it and uh, we'll be back okay so we're here with the tile um, and the, the legs and uh, we have the grid on the back that is uh, aligning so we can get our alignment straight on and I've also made my mark just underneath this um, on here so I know where the front of it is so when I had it lined up and inside I just sort of made a little mark under it where I kinda don't want the leg to go past okay so so that's what I did there so I've got it lined up now my legs are lined up that's where I want to place them so now um, I'm going to, uh, so when I take these off, I'm going to lose my spot. So I'm going to mark them um, with a marker and then um, I'm going to apply them um, with the Gorilla Super Glue and it's the gel uh, form, uh, formula uh, that they have. So, and they also have a lid with it um, that will pop the seal and then you will uh, put this on and then, um, then take the lid off and, and apply it's got a nice little nozzle on it for the application um, so yeah let's get uh, let's get started on that and uh, let's get these legs glued down and, uh, and then we'll go from there Okay, so that's it. Uh, that is the output tray uh, for the Epson 8550 um, with adjustable legs. Um, and they worked out just fine. Uh, once you put it in place, I put it back on, you just adjust them to the height and then you put it right inside. And I'm gonna go inside there, get some better lighting and I will show you exactly what happens um, and exactly the placement um, inside so um, this is what it kind of looks like on the outside um, and then we are going to move to the inside um, right now I'm going to get some lighting in there so you see exactly the height to the roller it has to be
All right, so I think I got enough lighting set up. Let's get inside and take a look. So once we are inside here, so those are the rollers there, right along there. And I'm gonna pull this back, the tray back a bit. So you see kind of where it goes on. I put some more light over here, so maybe, I don't know if it'll give you a better idea. It really just kind of goes right against the rollers. And the, you can, if you put your finger on it, you can feel the roller and then just under that is the tile so that it just goes right almost like straight onto that tile so it's you're going to feel the roller first because it is going to touch that roller first but then you want it to like right onto that film okay you just to lump right onto it so so there it is there that's it straight on you want you want it lined up with the rollers nice and straight and um okay. and that's it um i filled the two liter bottle with water so there's a, a bit of weight there it doesn't move around or blink around so just uh if you're going to use a two liter bottle uh throw um throw some water in it okay so this is how i'm going to do my waste uh storage I'm going to be using the two liter bottle and it will be coming um, out of the waste hose from the machine uh, through the hose that I have here and into the bottle here and uh, just remember that when these get full to take them to um, you know your local dump dispose of these properly um, you know you're taking out and modifying this you're going to want to um, you know, these are supposed to be disposed of properly. This is supposed to be disposed of properly. So when these fill up or whatever happens with them, just make sure that, um, you know, you dispose of things properly. That's all. Um, so, um, the tools required really for this, for me, um, was the flathead. And then, um, for the lid uh, of this, um, I used the, uh, 23, uh, 64 bit. Um, uh, to get the hole there and uh, that makes it uh, a perfectly flush hole for the end there and I'll show you that um, once we get this this uh, hose connected here um, so uh, what I'm doing first here is just I've got the end of this here this latex hose and then here is the end of the hose from the machine so that's where it's going to be coming out I'm going to put that in there nicely Make sure it's in a good distance, okay? And let it get right in there. I'm going to put it... Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is get your... Um, the piece that you're going to use, the clip. So the one I'm using. Uh, get that on first, okay. So now we've got that on. We're ready to clip. Unless you've got a clip that you use that you don't need to put it on first, of course. But I just forgot there. So um, I'm going to get it far enough in there where I'm comfortable. Okay, it's right in there. You can kind of see through the latex, so I know that it's um, that it's through quite a bit there. I'm going to do one more check once I get this down to um, where it's nice and snug and tight, um, not too tight where you're kinking it. Of course, there's got to be a flow. Um, so yeah, let's get this tight. So now it's just a matter of, uh, there, okay. So now, oh, perfect actually, excellent. So as long as there's not too much pressure on that, it's just holding, okay. Now I've got that connected, okay. So that's the, the these two hoses are now um, connected. And now this will drain down. Um, I'm going to not cut it yet. I don't know. I'm going to think I'm going to have a higher table. I'm just using this table um, to do this tutorial on. Um, so um, my table, I think, will be a bit higher. I'm, I'm six foot nine and a half, so I'm pretty tall. So, um, so when you use the 2364, um, it leaves a perfect hole. So it literally, I mean, you know, you got to push it in a little bit, but. It is so snug in there and it is like 
like the perfectly snug fit, okay? So now I could I could leave it like that, um, but I'm not going to. Um, don't let that happen. You don't want a lot of pressure on that hose. Oops. So anyhow, so with this, um, I'm going to wait and see exactly where, uh, how far down I want to go with it. And then um, once I determine that, I will cut my latex tubing um, to that uh, desired height. And then, um, and then, yeah, what I'll do after that is probably just put this in, you know, I wouldn't put it in, don't put it in too far. You can put it in just past the cap a bit when you put it in. Just enough to allow it to like kind of fall through. You don't want to put it too close inside. You kind of want to give it a little bit of room there to, you know, fall through. And just, and you can just watch, make sure it's falling through when you have a first run. Make sure that um, this isn't kinked. So, you know, so once the, the waste starts coming through, just ensure that it's coming through and flowing through properly. Then you know you've made this installation, uh, you know, correctly. Um, and you don't have to make any corrections because that's the time when you make corrections is the time that you start to run things and it starts to flow through things you've fixed or played with. Um, so um, I'll test that. It looks good, feels good, so it should be all right. And um, again, yeah. And so that's about the height you want out of there. Don't go too crazy. You know what I mean? Just have it stick out a bit. And then um, I'm just going to glue that in place around there, adhere it in there with some of the, probably the same glue. The Gorilla Glue works just fine. I'll go do some, I'll probably just do it on the bottom. Give it a nice clean look on the top. You don't need both sides, I don't think. It'll hold on the one side. So once you get it to that height, throw some of the Gorilla Glue in there just around there. You don't need a lot and it'll hold that in place so that when you uh, take it off to change the uh, waste, uh, to change the waste in the 2 liter, then um, you know, it's easy to do. And uh, one more thing, uh, you'll see it with my setup. So I was thinking about how I'm going to get um, <clears throat> this here to sit on my floor and not like this. Because I don't like this as a base to sit on or stand on. So what I thought of was, and I think I'm going to do it, tomorrow I'm going to go take a look. I'm taking uh, the empty two liter with me to the garden center and they have these pots with a plate on the bottom like a circular plate so I'm going to use the plate as a base and then the the pot I'm going to get a pot that will be the right size for this to fit in so I could just pull it in and out and it's nice and snug and so what I'm going to do is put the pot that, that this fits into and I'm going to put it in the center of the plate and use that as my base and I'm going to glue it, um, again, probably with the Gorilla Glue, uh, to the base of that. Gorilla Glue is great. It just glues everything together. So um, that's, that's all I'm going to do with that. Then I'll have a nice, solid, secure base for my waste bin. And um, yeah, and I might even actually, I probably might not edit this till maybe tomorrow. So um, I might go pick it up and um, I may show that uh, in this actual video going on YouTube. So uh, yeah. So... Um, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.